location and what more appropriate location uh, than Glastevin Cemetery, which is effectively a who was who of modern Irish history. And very appropriate that they are laying, lying now in the shadow of this great monument to O'Connell himself, of course, one of the founders of the cemetery, but also uh, the, the subject of one of the, the greatest ever of the 19th century uh, funerals. But now we have Bernard Ryan executed again on the 14th of March, that terrible morning when those half dozen men had to meet their maker. Cahar Fos Ledal. Thomas Bryan, Kurakan Bosch, Eran Vajan, Tru of Elixon, Nidiuk Fehnehan, Ganige Ach, on score, Agassan Kerivlian, Venakash. He was tried by court martial for high treason and levying war against the king following an attempted ambush in Drumcondra, again just a little bit more than a mile down the road from Glasnevin Cemetery here. And Frank Flood, who also took part in that same action, also tried by court-martial. He was a student at UCD. He attended that on a scholarship and had, before that, been a student in O'Connell's CBS schools. He asked to be buried as close as possible to Kevin. The Truer Drahar. The great Frank Flood of the Geneva uh, Snow Lion to Sun. Coracon Bosch and Carol Adiag Martha, Vihehan, Gan Ach Name Lina Diagia, Agus Anish, Fui Irim, Fui Mass, Agus Fui Huam, a really last nine. Most of these men who died, who gave their lives, were young men, men like Barry and Flood little more than boys, just students. Thomas Trainer was different. He was a bootmaker, he was a married man, he was nearly 40 years of age, he had 10 children, going from a five-month-old infant to an older son of 18. He'd been in the Bolands Mills garrison during Easter week of 1916. He was later interned in Wakefield and also in Frongok. And he was captured during an ambush of auxiliaries in Brunswick Street in Dublin and badly beaten before his execution. He was tried at City Hall. There was a song, a ballad that some people might even have heard, the ballad of Thomas Trainer in his memory. And the ninth body to be the remains to be placed here in Glasnevin, Edmund Foley. Edmund Foley was arrested at home. He'd been on the run for several weeks after the release of Sean Hogan from a train at Not Long on the 13th of May in 1919. He'd also taken play a part in the Solihad Beg ambush, which, strangely enough, occurred on the same day as the first meeting of the first Doyle Aaron. There's very considerable doubt about the guilt in the case of Edmund Foley. There's no question about his involvement in the national movement, but on two occasions, juries failed to reach the required verdict. He was the son of the farmer, William Foley, 
and his father and mother were outside the gates of Mount Joy on the day of his execution. Nine bodies laid to rest in Glasnevin, a tenth to find his way home. Patrick Maher, Quirfer A. Fain, Egonthe Limoni, a Masco Winter de Hain, the Bay Evian Shuda, a Heniter A. Egg on Uwiksha. Amen. On Serifish Ilaka Foster or Prev Shapely and Uknebrisu. Our brothers. Kevin Barry, Patrick Moran, Thomas Whelan, Patrick Doyle, Bernard Ryan, Thomas Bryan, Frank Flood, Thomas Trainer, and Edmund Foley went to their rest over 80 years ago. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us now today assist them with our prayers. Let us pray also to the Lord for ourselves. May we gathered here today be reunited one day with our brothers, and together may we meet Christ Jesus, who is our life, when he appears in glory. Lord Jesus Christ, by the three days you lay in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our brothers may now rest here in peace until you awaken them to glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. Then will they see you face to face, and in your light will see light, and know the splendor of God, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God today our brothers in this sacred ground. May the Lord bless them and keep them. May the Lord make his face to shine upon them and be gracious to them. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon them and give them his peace. We pray together, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Loving God, from whom all life proceeds, and by whose hand the dead are raised again, though we are sinners, you always hear us. Accept the prayers we have offered today for our brothers. Deliver their soul from debt and number them among your saints and clothe them with the robe of salvation to enjoy forever the delights of your kingdom, we ask you grant our prayer through Christ our Lord. Let us now bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of your people. Hear us today in our need and strengthen hope in your lasting goodness. We ask you grant our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the prayers of Mary, the mother of God, who stood by the cross as her own son was dying, help all who mourn for our brothers whom we rebury today and accompany all of us in our time of need. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace.